Okay, in this video what we're going to do is explore a little bit of interactive manipulation of pitch contours and durations using prop. How do we do that? Let me show you how. Okay, let's select the sound. It's the word shock. Just to explore it a little bit first. Shock. Okay, we can see the pitch contour starts at around 145. It drops down to about 98, 99. And let's change that. So I have the sound selected. I'm going to click Manipulate to Manipulation. And the reason I did that exploration is to know basically what range I should expect the pitch to fall in. So um, this 75 to 600 is a pretty wide range. I'm going to lower this down to 300 because we, you know, we know that the pitch is not going to get much higher than that. Okay, so now I have a new object in the window. Instead of it calling it Sound Shock, now it's Manipulation Shock. Um, now I can view and edit that. Um, it's a simplified view. We don't have the spectrogram anymore. These green dots represent the level of the fundamental frequency at the time that corresponds up here. And so what we should look at here is the fact that, you know, the vowel part has these blue vertical lines that correspond to markings of pitch periods. And we don't see that during the sh because there's no periodicity, there's no voicing during the sh. So the only part that we can change the pitch contour of is in fact the vowel. So um, I can just click and drag these points to make them go wherever I want, um, which makes it you know pretty nice and um, user friendly. Um, another thing I can do um, is click them and delete them. So um, if I want to get rid of that point, I can either click this or what I'm going to do is press Control Alt T, and it'll just get rid of the pitch point closest to where I'm clicking. So even if I got rid of a bunch of these, the pitch won't disappear. We won't lose periodicity in this. What Pratt will do is actually interpolate between the, the two segments, um, which we'll see uh, in just a little bit. So suppose I want to change all of these up by about 20 hertz. Um, I could click and drag all of them, but that would take a lot of clicking for something that could be done much more easily by going to pitch and say, let's shift those pitch frequencies. And in this case, instead of minus 20, let's just make it 20. Now the pitch will change. Shock. A little bit higher than before. Let's make it go up even more. Why not? Let's shift the pitch frequencies up by another 20. Shock. Okay, so you can see what's going on here. Um, so what I'm going to do is simplify this. I'm going to take away a lot of those markings so I have just a small number I can play with. Okay. Just as much as I want to click and drag. And this time I'm going to change the contour to make it go upward rather than downward. And we can listen to what that sounds like. Shock. Okay. Um, shouldn't come as a surprise. And another thing we can do um, is, you know, we can we can listen to this, but we haven't really produced any new sounds yet. So if I want to, you know, listen to this and actually use this question version of the sound, I have two options. The first one is within this window, I can click File, uh, Publish Resynthesis, and you'll notice over on the side here, there's a new object called Sound from Manipulation Editor, which is not a particularly useful name, um, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, but whatever I have in this Manipulation Editor, if I select that in the Object window, I have all these other options as well. So the one that you'll probably be using most often is the one called Get Resynthesis Overlap Add. And now it produces a sound that has the same name as the original sound. So I might want to go in and rename this Shock Question Version. Okay, and if I open that up, now I have an actual sound. I can see the spectrogram and everything. I can play it. Shock. And I can do all sorts of other normal things I'd do with the sound. One thing you might want to do um, um, is get rid of all these pitch points and just make a flat pitch contour like this. Shock. It sounds a little robotic, and there are occasions where you want to do this. It doesn't render the sound very natural, but it's something that some people might want to do. So I can make this, you know, a pretty low flat pitch. Shock. Really low. Shock. Or really high. Shock. So um, if we go back to this question version here, one of the things we want to point out is that, um, just as we alluded to before, the only parts of the sound that have changed are the vowel parts, because uh, what it does is it keeps track and manipulates only those parts that it finds to be periodic, and the sh part is not periodic. So this should sound exactly the same as what we started, and it does in fact sound like a normal sh sound.
you can do some pretty interesting manipulations of longer utterances. So here I have a whole sentence. I'm again going to go click and manipulate. Same settings as before. So now we have a whole sentence. This is from the IEEE corpus for those speech and hearing researchers out there. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. So suppose I want to make um, this uh, have a lower and a higher frequency version. Um, I can shift all the pitch frequencies, but first I have to select all of them. Uh, I'm going to shift all the frequencies down by, let's say, 30. Okay, I'm going to publish the resynthesis. I'm going to shift them now up by 60, which means I'm going to have um, plus and minus 30. I'm going to publish that resynthesis. And then go back to the this um, object window. Obviously, these two have the same name, and I have to you know just remember um, which one I did first. So this one's going to be called sentence low. This one's going to be called sentence mid. Okay, and I can listen to both of those consecutively. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. And the other thing we can do. We want to just flatten this pitch contour. I can highlight all these, get rid of all the uh, pitch points. Again, what I did was press um, Control Alt T to do that. It looks like I left a few here, but I would just leave one. And what I am doing here is just rendering this um, to have the a flat pitch contour. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. So there are pretty interesting things you can do, um, not just interactively as we've been doing in these windows here, but also using the scripting language in Prot to do some really interesting manipulations of the pitch contour. One of the things you might have noticed is that um, as we were looking at this, um, there's this other window down here that says no duration points. And the point that we're seeing here is that we can manipulate not just the periodicity rate, not just the fundamental frequency, but also manipulate the duration as well. So I'm adding these pitch points back in just to make it look normal again. But down below, what I can do is also add duration points. So I can add one point here by pressing Control D. Okay, and if I keep this right around one, it's going to sound like it's normal duration. Shock. But if I raise that higher, I'm going to increase the duration this time by two times. Shock. Or I can go below that line to make it shorter. Shock. And suppose what I want to do is keep the sh the same duration as before, but just increase uh, the duration of the vowel. I can put a point here, a point here, and a point down here. And you know I'm doing this a little bit in a sloppy way, just by pointing and clicking. You can do this. Uh, a little bit more programmatically and more accurately, but this is just a first approximation. What we should have is the normal duration of sh, a long duration of the ah, and then a normal duration of the k sound. Let's hear what it sounds like. Shock. And we can do the opposite by just making the vowel portion shorter as well. Shock. Okay. So the effects of this um, are a little bit more impressive when you think about a whole utterance. So let's take that um, whole sentence again. I'm going to start a new manipulation of that juice of lemon sentence. Okay. So we have this whole thing here, and I'm going to add a duration point um, at around 0.5, just to make this sentence um, twice as fast as before. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. And I can make it really short, uh, really slow as well. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. So as I was saying before, um, there's a lot more powerful and more sophisticated actions you can do using the actual prot scripting language. Um, but as a quick demonstration of pitch and duration manipulations, the manipulation window uh, is pretty handy um, to make some interesting changes in your sounds.